my friends, my folks, my people. Welcome to mine and Daniel's bathroom. <laughs> now it's almost midnight and I've decided to just give it a trim as of like two minutes ago <laughs> so this is how long my hair is right now you can't even get it all in the picture <laughs> okay yeah. do you know where you're cutting it all right boom right here yeah yeah is that too short what am I doing no. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> Daniel, stop! <laughs> Alright, are we ready? <laughs> are, are, are you sure? Yeah. Okay, you're sure. Three, two, one. Stay still. Don't scream, Chloe. Uh -oh. oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, do, it, do it right, Daniel. I'm trying. <gasps> <gasps> Hold on! Hold on! This last little bit is really hot. What are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Daniel! Hold on! Daniel, what so... are you doing? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, I'm coming out! <laughs> you can't even tell right now. I'm so glad I did that. Well, thanks for joining us. We're going to straighten up and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So this is the finished product. It's not perfect. We're going to trim it up tonight and get some of like, yeah, it's not perfect, but I really like it and it's fun and cute. So anyway, thanks for joining me for that adventure. All right, dad, what are you doing today? <laughs> Another dilemma to fix, but we're hooking up a winch we got from Walmart to try and get our truck out of here because this beast, gas versus diesel, the gas couldn't get the diesel out, so now we got a winch tied around the tree with a chain. This is all hillbilly, but let's see if it works. How to get this off? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> not supposed to let it touch. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh. Oh I got that on video. <laughs> <laughs> Apart. Here we go. Attempt number two. This can't pull it out enough. It can't. Ugh. Well, that was pretty sweet. Almost, almost to the Super Bowl. One more game, baby. Yeah. Who did it? Who did Who did things to beat the Bengals? Who did it? Who did Who did things to beat the Bengals? Who did So today we are doing some more work around the property and we're about to pull this log to the wood mill from the new winch that we got. The one, it's a new one. The old one broke. So, here we go.
That's good. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Uh, yes, I do. Is it ready already? Yeah. It's, it's my birthday! But anyway, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now let's check out that cake. Yeah. Let me get you a spotlight. Yeah. All right, ready? Happy birthday to you. All right, make a wish and then blow your candles out. But don't spit on the cake. <laughs> Yeah, get it. Go, go. Get it, get it. Okay? Yeah! 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 You're a big girl. How girl. old are you? Three. Three. Can you tell me your names? Scott D. Lack. I'm Paula K. Lack. When did you meet? 93. No, we met in <laughs> we met in October of 1992. When did you start dating? 1975. <laughs> 1994. Was it love at first sight? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would try to get her attention by looking at her, but what happened? I was ignoring. My friend would elbow me and say, Scott Lack is staring at you. What woman wouldn't be like, what? <laughs> but instead, she was like, Ugh. <laughs> But anyway. Did you know how to play the guitar when you met? Sort of. How did you learn? Um, I knew three chords, the good old G, C, and D. And then um, I told Paula's sister, Terry, that I was an excellent guitar player and a good singer, drummer, and dancer, all those things. <laughs> and she said, um, I couldn't join the worship team until I came to a practice. Mm -hmm. So I showed up at practice and uh, they got to a B flat and I had no idea how to play that. So they gave me a hymnal and in the back of the book, there was guitar chords. So for the next year, I played without being plugged in and I wasn't even allowed on the stage. I was down on the floor in front of the stage playing guitar for a year. So then I started learning all my chords. Was that impressive to you, Paula? No. <laughs> no, he did. He came into audition for the worship team and it was just me and my sister and another girl. And then he came and he showed us how he could play the guitar <laughs> and play the drums and sing and I wasn't impressed at all. When did you form your first band? It was called PS, standing for, stood for Paula and Scott. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much before well, we, we got married. Yeah, we were dating. Yeah, we wrote this song called Amazing Grace. Yeah. <laughs> and that was our first performance together. And uh, I think we actually announced it, that it was a song we wrote. We didn't, you did. Yeah but it was basically these words to Amazing Grace. We just changed the tune up a little bit. It's pretty cool. Show you a small clip of one of our first gigs. Cold and lonely, lost and hopeless. Holy Spirit shine through me so they will say. How did you realize in your heart that he was cute? You had to realize it in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> so we were doing the worship team. So one night we were singing. Um, I think it was as the deer. Yeah. He was singing. You... No, no, no. <laughs> 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 you. Anyway. <laughs> and we got to this harmony part that he didn't even know how to sing parts or anything. Yeah. You. Right. And so we got to this part and he broke off into harmony naturally. Accidentally. And both of us girls screamed and we we're like, Oh my gosh, you did it. And so at that moment I thought mm, he Just has I could sing harmony? Musical potential. 
<laughs> nothing to do with my hair or he had some brown eyes or good mustache. hair his hair was nice mustache so how did you propose it was snowing i drove her up to the mall took her to the jewelry store picked out a ring and as soon as we walked out of the store right in front of all the people in the mall i got down on my knee and said would you marry me he took me to Taco Bell. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> How long were you engaged? Six months. Yeah. What happened in that six months? Oh, gosh. Uh, I had, a week before our wedding, I had pain in my back that I was getting treated for a pulled muscle. And it was causing me so much pain that I would have to take like seven ibuprofen or Advil or Tylenol. Nothing would touch this pain. And the doctors were giving me muscle relaxers and everything. It was just, it was torture. And I couldn't eat anything during the time I would have these attacks. And I was throwing up to the point where it was just green coming out. It was, I was being basically septic on the inside. A week before our wedding, I called her and said, I'm having one of the worst attacks. And she says, I think it's your kidney and I'm taking you to the hospital right now. It's like midnight. She picks me up, drives me to the hospital, walks in and just says, listen to me, don't check anything. I think it's his kidney, you need to check it. And so they did. And it was the worst experience ever. I was on a cold metal table and they were shooting this dye through my system and they had to do some sort of x-ray to see how this dye was flowing through your system and your veins and your kidneys. And then after I was finally done with that torture, they said, uh, you can't leave. Your kidney is completely blocked. And that's what was causing the pain and backing up into my system. And I said, um, I'm getting married next week. So I got I got you gotta do something besides major surgery. So what they did was they put a stent in to the kidney to make sure that it held it open. And it relieved the pain and I was so thankful. And then a week later we got married a week after our honeymoon, I go in for major surgery. I would show you my scar, but I take my shirt off. So we'll just imagine a scar that long on my side. How long have you been married? Long time. <laughs> I usually get this wrong. I'm gonna take a shot at it. 27 years. Yeah. Yes. What would you say the key to a successful marriage is? Well, <clears throat> I have an answer to that. Over the last 27 years, Paul and I made a decision that every decision we ever make as a couple will be brought to the Lord in prayer. And that we wouldn't do anything that God wasn't leading us to do. And we made God the foundation of our absolute full marriage. And we said to each other, whatever God asks us to do in our life, We'll say yes and we had no idea what that could lead to now that we've been on this crazy adventure but even through the adventure we find ourselves getting stronger in our relationship because yes we've been through a lot together but at the same time we grow stronger through it and what we have now it's like a lifelong bond and and it, it's marriage is like a decision that's made at the point of two people going to a ceremony and exchanging vows, but then marriage is also everything that goes along with it. 27 years later, it wasn't just those vows, and then we just lived whatever life we wanted. We changed everything about ourselves to be together, to, to love one another unconditionally, till death do us part. We meant every word, and now we're 27 years in saying, wow, it's been such an adventure. And now we're super blessed to be able to be not only together, but with our family on the road. And everybody says it to us. You're so blessed to be with your family. And I say, absolutely. But one thing I can tell you is we have worked very hard because we wanted to have a good marriage. So it took hard work. So whenever you're angry or frustrated or disappointed, you have to bring it to the Lord. You got to either walk away. You got to find how to get through it without destroying the other person and letting your flesh or crap or whatever just hang out and hurt other people especially your wife or your husband and paula 
what is your top healthy marriage tip? Maybe not to end the day on a sour note. You know, don't go to bed angry at each other, but talk things out and let each other know that you are there for them and um, that, you know, you'll do whatever it takes to bring peace and to the relationship if there's an argument. Thank you guys both for answering all my questions. Thanks for listening to a little bit about us. I hope you're not afraid. We hope you're encouraged and (laughs) blessed. (laughs) Next week, you will get to hear a little bit about Deborah and Jared's love story. The do's and the don'ts about online dating. You know that one site, Farmer Needs a Wife? Yeah. Yeah. That's a little preview. (laughs) (laughs) Bye. Bye!